Welcome back to Halls of Torment. I think we're going to be to level three today. I see we have an, the Exterminator, the Warlock. Those are the two I haven't um, chosen yet. So I think I'm gonna go back to Swordsman. Swordsman felt pretty good. I, I'm going to try the new classes eventually, but I think I just wanna go straight into the Forgotten Viaduct. So let's see. But yeah, once uh, once I feel no, oh, that was a waste of a magnet. Once I feel better about um, this this level and everything, or strength wise, I guess, then I will try the new heroes. But I already know uh, area, by the way. I already know that the swordsman is good, and so I want to actually stand a chance. Wow, they are really pushing me back here. Uh, attack speed. And I think there is an NPC here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it's potions. That might be the next one. I think I need more levels, so. I didn't try for that. Um, well, I also learned that range affects um, base. So the area is the amount around, and the range is the depth. So it's not wasted. It's not a archer specific category. Wow. Ouch. Yeah. Wow. Okay, this is gonna take a while, I think. This is quite difficult. That's good. Uh, strength. I like a challenge. I'm trying to get this ability scroll. I'm going in the opposite direction of the NPC, which is probably what I should have done, because there's an ability scroll over there, too, but. I'm already committed. Oh, and if you didn't watch the last episode, we do have a necklace now that increases strength based off of the pickup range. So I think it is the amount of enemies within your pickup range uh, you increase your strength by like 3%. So we have a pretty strong attack when there's a lot of enemies like this. Uh, let's see. Damage? Or, hmm. Yeah, I, I feel a little bit light on damage, so let's do that. Attack speed was definitely a consideration, though. Hopefully we're getting close to this ability scroll. And I'd like to go ahead and just knock this level out if possible, you know, and not take an hour and a half or two hours or three hours because then I could upload it faster. I do not trust um, having OBS in the browser on at the same time because OBS crashes. Uh, let's see, area. So I know what I'm doing is working. It's just uh, needles, always needles. I'll, um, I know it's working and I don't want to test it. So right now OBS is having an okay time not crashing and I'm going to try to keep it that way. Um, of these, I prefer the movement speed. I'm gonna see if I can beat this boss, but go back to the other ability scroll as well. Needles are so good. Okay, uh, 
Let's see. Regen feels early, but I think it's my best choice. And kind of wish I wouldn't have um, gotten that early magnet. They just put it right there to spawn, so it's a big bait. Like, oh, yeah. But, um, uh, Phantom Needles. So it's like, oh, yeah, I just grab this, but it has zero purpose if you grab it immediately. So just complete bait. But this is feeling better than the star. The star was a bit intimidating. Slowly chipping. Now looks like we got bats. Hmm. Pickup range is good for attack, but I think attack speed is what I need right now. I don't know what attack speed that was for. I don't know if it's for the needles or what. I didn't really pay attention to that. It might be base. It didn't look like it. Oof. Yeah, I, I need some movement speed for um, dodging these bats. That is like really tricky. Right there. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Orbs. I think that is the three. If I can get it, um, orbs, needles, aura. Seems to work out really well. Um, let's see. Faster orbs or more damage? That is. Oh, this is also more damage. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, yikes. Uh, put me in a corner. Uh, so that, uh, that early regen should help. Yeah, I really could use some movement speed. This is ridiculous without some movement speed. Um, attack speed is the next best thing. Or do I feel okay with that and add strength? I do feel a little weak. Let's go strength. The, the um, um, region is also a consideration, but I think strength is better. Uh, but yeah, this one might be an early L. This is looking like an early L. Uh, unless I can somehow pull that out. Uh, yeah, let's go region now just to see if I can try to save this. Uh, one more hit. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Uh, attack speed, I guess. Yeah. All right, I, I think I'm going to go back. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to choose one of the new heroes. Like, I'm going to go Exterminator. And I'm going to go to level two, which is Ember or something. I want some movement speed. So let's do that. And... Anything else? I can do defense. And I can do health. Let's do health. And maybe I can pick up another Ember Grounds. Maybe I can pick up another piece of equipment. 
uh, the Forgotten Viaduct didn't feel that bad. It was just I wasn't uh, scaling scaling good enough. So I think a piece of equipment might help with that. Right. This weapon feels pretty interesting. And I'm going to go range. So it looks like a looks like the needles, except maybe it can hit two enemies or oh, it's burn. Interesting. Uh, attack speed. Yeah, the magnet might have also, if I if I remember the next time I'm, I'm in Forgotten Viaduct, to not pick up the a medium magnet, I think that'll also help. I don't think that would have saved the run, but yeah, that knowledge will help. Hmm, do I farm? Do I get ability scroll? I think I need a couple more levels. Uh, strength, yeah. Maybe attack speed. But yeah, I think I need an ability actually. Let's go grab it. Um, movement speed or crit chance. I think right now crit chance is probably better. Oh, I picked up a magnet. It wasn't the uh, the base one though. Hmm, attack speed or damage force? I think damage force. That's close though. There's definitely an argument for both. Right, let's see if I don't know what the exterminator's ability is. That might also be a consideration is to not play these heroes because I already know that the orbs, the aura, and the needles are good, and I might be actually muddying the pool by um, upgrading the exterminator. So that might. That might be a mistake, like long term. Then again, his ability might be really cracked. So we'll see. Uh, aura. Um, aura. So basically, you get three choices every time you get a scroll. And what I'm base, what I'm saying is, uh, if I were to get upgraded abilities for all, all of the heroes, then it kind of makes the pull overall worse. So the chances of getting the one I want gets harder. Uh, let's see, multi strike, and I have to play cleaner. It's not the game, it's me. I am just playing like tra trash right now. Oof. Okay. Um, probably area. I'm not super intimidated by this mob Sigit. But yeah, he just kept going. Okay. Um, do I want to continue with exterminator? Yes, but not on Ember Grounds. I'm gonna go back to Haunted Caverns. 
I want some equipment, and this is basically guaranteed equipment. And once I get... Hmm, it depends on what the equipment is. If it's a really good piece of equipment, then I will go straight to the Forgotten Viaducts. But I think I'm going to go with Cleric, because I feel most confident with Cleric. I'm trying to make the other heroes work, but Cleric seems to be my best. Damage. Haunted Caverns has the hardest or a harder final boss than Ember Grounds, but other than that, it is a much better place to farm. So that's what I'm doing. Perchance. Mm, and I'm going to book it for the ability. I think about it, uh, I think I, the cleric is good with or better with the uh, necklace because of the uh, see, this is like a single target weapon. The exterminator has basically a single target weapon, but the uh, the cleric has a base cone weapon, and I think that is better for the uh, the pickup damage on the necklace. So, I don't think that is the primary reason. But I think that is a reason to switch. Then again, the swordsman has like the same cone. So I think that was um, just the forgotten viaduct being difficult though. I think if I went to the forgotten viaduct with the, um, the cleric right now, I'd probably lose too. So I think that was just that being difficult. Uh, let's go. Well, this build range. So I don't really have a need for area. Huh. The damage on the exterminator feels low, but I don't, that might just be perception. Chance or pickup range? Probably critch and eh, movement speed actually. I've never tried it, so let's do that. Uh, since I have a pretty good single target weapon, the aura takes care of the group. So that's kind of cool. If that's good, hmm, what would I replace? Maybe orbs? If this is good, it's probably my orb replacement. Movement speed or let's go elemental effects. 
So we have freeze burn going on right now. This is the frostbite build, I guess. Frost burn. That's way better. Frost burn. Um. Burn challenge or burn chance. this I still think cleric I prefer it's growing on me I guess I'm really gonna have to see the power of the what was the frost called I see that after it's leveled up a few more times though it seems to be doing damage so I'll give it that This is actually feeling pretty good now. Okay. Um, pick up range maybe, or crit chance, or early region. Probably pick up. The reason I'm not prioritizing pickup is because of the, um, I've maxed it out in the permanent, but it's still beneficial to have because of the equipment. So I need to remember that. Uh, range. I feel like Aura should have got me out of that, but maybe it's not strong enough yet. Uh, yep. This might be a piece of equipment. be going down pretty fast. Cool beans. Oh, I don't have anything equipped. How'd that happen? Is the equipment per hero? That's... Yeah, that's it. The equipment is per hero. That sucks. Well, um, when not using main weapon, 100% damage. So that, does that mean all the abilities? I feel like that means all the abilities get really, really good. Yeah, let's take it. And I want to weld that almost immediately. I guess I'll wait. There's there's a chance I get a better item than that. I, I doubt it. That, that seems pretty good. If, if all the abilities become basically double damage, that is really good. Uh, Multi-strike. So that's, that uh, seems to be the case. It's like I have to equip everything her hero. That's a little bit annoying, but it makes sense, I guess. Strength. And more reason to go back to the cleric. Clean up the pickup, or is the magnet gonna do something? 
guess I can go and see. I don't know how much I'm leaving behind. But yeah, that explained why the swordsman felt so weak. Was the uh, the equipment not automatically retaining? Next upgrade, I'm gonna get some coffee. So I'm not cold. That's good. Damage force. That sounds good. A lot of gold. So yeah, gold is going to be basically my best friend when it comes to the equipment and the permanent upgrades. So getting some, getting some gold is pretty good. I think more pickup. Well, oh, a spade. So more pickup would be the call if I had the necklace on, but I don't have the necklace on. Okay. But it's still not bad. It's not as good because I was going toward the magnet, but it's it's not that bad. That just means I get my levels now. Okay, let's go. Does area affect radiant aura? If it does, then that is the answer, but I don't think it does. It's better than crit bonus, I guess. I don't know. Assuming the area does nothing, crit bonus is better, but if, if area affects my current build at all, then that was probably the better option. shining like that. I kind of want to go straight to the well. I do not want to lose those gloves. But it's also going to be kind of hard to win without the gloves. So. Hmm. Decisions. I thought that was kind of like a standstill uh, spot. I do not like the flying skulls. Worst attack. They're not even that hard to dodge. They just seem to come out of nowhere. Um, let's see. Damage force or attack speed? At this point, I think I need attack speed. I need a little bit more movement speed. Generally speaking, I think I have enough attack, at least for now. But yeah, I'm slow. Uh, lightning strike orbs. Orbs. Let's 
go to the magnet. Checking because I think I blocked the uh, buffs again with the camera. So I tried to put the camera in a spot that's not blocking the gold, it's not blocking the buffs, and hopefully that is the spot. Damage. It's a little bit ambitious to completely ignore the well right now. But then again, I have beaten the haunted caverns. So I don't feel. Oh, I just picked up a magnet. Cool. Mm, let's go force. Um, so I don't feel that scared, but I still want to uh, ensure that I keep the gloves. Damage. Well, I'm not too worried about the magnet now, so I can get that later. Let's go ahead and go to the well. Uh, aura. That should, that should help protect. Uh, I thought I just died right there. That should help protect, um, when uh, they cross my line of defense. So, I have got to stop playing so sloppy. Movement speed. Do not lose these stupid gloves. Come on. I'm going to regen up. but I am overall way better. Uh, okay. I actually feel pretty good about that. Let's see. Um, regen movement speed sounds great. of equipment, but it'll just get me to the boss. I can't send two items up. I guess there was an argument for waiting, but that was a really good uh, set of gloves. Orbs. the stay alive shirt so I think that's good orbs and plus it's not a it's not something I'd want to well anyway I think I'm going back to the magnet but I'm gonna go slow on my way over there and try to just regen as much as possible. 
I think the plus one health is actually just region. It's not adding to my base because I've been at 480 for a while. I kind of thought it was adding to the base, so that's not as good. I don't like the exterminator that much. Yeah, that was ridiculous. I don't think I have enough for the gloves, but I already have a huge buff with the knowledge that the cleric actually has equipment. How much are the gloves? 66.60. Bomber, dude. Close. Um, yeah. This thing is boss. going back to um no you know what let's get another piece of equipment let's just go back to haunted caverns get another piece of equipment put on the gloves and then go to forgotten viaduct i think that sounds like a better plan i think going to forgotten viaduct right now is probably a mistake but day and night look at that Uh, area uh, strength. I don't really need strength right now, but come on. Now I'll grab the area. That's just mm, chef's kiss. It makes all of the other heroes just feel weak. It might be the equipment, but that feels way better. Um, attack speed. Hiccup was actually probably the play there because of the necklace. Hmm. Now let's go. Force. Now, I didn't check to see if I could put all the equipment on another hero or if it's like a one-time use. Or basically what I'm saying is uh, I have to take it off one hero to put it on another. I don't know. That would kind of suck, but it makes sense. Yeah, that feels way better. Uh, let's go pickup range. In this particular build, pickup range is actually probably better than strength, which is nuts. are all one shots granted my attack speed is trash but once I do fire it's one shot um, let's go range I think it's just bias based on the equipment, but I like Cleric way more than the other heroes. Checking recording looks still good. Crit bonus, don't really need it. I think I'm gonna take some early region. 
this ability if I can grab it. All three are good. I think I'm gonna go Aura first. And strength. But what I really need is attack speed. My attack is really good right now. I just need some speed. Dragon's Breath, and I don't particularly like it, but it's probably better than Ring Blades. But yeah, it's definitely not my favorite. I prefer Fountain Needles. And that's kind of what I was talking about. If I wouldn't have leveled up Exterminator, Phantom Needles was a much better chance there. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to level up Warwalk. At least not until, not until I'm actually on like the fifth level or something. And then I'm just cleaning up. Attack speed. Uh, actually the top one was attack speed magic. So that might've been better. I don't know base or magic specifically. Probably debatable. Magic damage or multi strike, but it's Dragon's Breath multi strike. Hmm, I guess let's give it a fair shake. I got it, so let's give it a fair shake. You're doing two things in one. You're actually getting levels faster because your pickup range is massive and you're getting extra attack. So it's just the best two for one special. speed. I guess I'll add more damage. I don't really need it, but outscaling is good. And the magnet is gonna basically do nothing. Because my pickup is massive. Are you just stuck? Okay. Melted. Bruh. Okay, crown. Let's see. Burning, don't need. That's for exterminator. Um, base block is. Okay. Um, summons an imp every five seconds. It's a ring. I can go for some summons. Okay. I'm gonna do damage. So it was either that or defense or specifically exterminator. And I don't really want to play exterminator, so. Seemed like the play. 
I don't I don't really want to build defense. Maybe region, like health region sounds fine, but like I shouldn't be getting hit. Um damage force. That was debatable. I think keeping my range is better at this point. I definitely don't want to weld a ring though. I think I'm gonna get a better item. Hmm, let's do base range. I don't know if I'm gonna clear Forgotten Viaducts like one shot after this, but I'm gonna definitely have a much better shot at it. I had no idea how um, severe the disadvantage was. Attack speed. Ah, again, multi strike. Hmm. Adds extra projectiles or attacks. Let's do it. I think attack speed was probably the, still the play. Because my attack is very good. And I think attack speed is basically all I'm lacking, but I don't know. Multi strike seems really good. I'm gonna take attack speed. I'm going to get the uh, the magnet, but I don't think the magnet is going to do anything, really. I'm ignoring the well right now because I don't want to put the ring in. I will if um, the other guy doesn't give me a better item. But I feel very confident that I can make it through with this build, so I don't need to well. Let's do Dragon's Breath. It's not great. It's kind of slow, but at least it's becoming more powerful. I don't know what hit me there. Double damage. So I'm just gonna just walk around. Radiant Aura is actually not doing that much. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, pickup range. Remember, pickup range equals attack. It's specifically attack based on how many enemies are within my pickup range, but to simplify it equals attack. Mm, let's do more dragon's breath, I guess. I think I like dragon's breath less the frost because the frost goes in four directions and the dragon's breath is basically just an area shot but it's slow mm, I think I'll go ahead and do some region was a bad call because um, I'm pretty sure I would have phantom needles instead of dragon's breath right now had I done that or had I not used the exterminator uh, let's see radiant aura 
What is stacks? Yeah. Would that be like if you have multiple radio or abilities, they stack upon each other? Like attack and stuff, or I don't know. Orbs. Orbs. I wasn't sure about the orbs at first, but they are really good. Damage or attack speed? I think attack speed. I think my damage output is still pretty good. I'm going to hang out by the well. I'm not going to drop the ring in it, but I'm just going to go ahead and get over there. Uh, yep, pick up range. I'm pretty sure to pick up the necklace item, the pickup range thing, is um, based on the number of enemies though. So it might not be that great for a boss. It's really good for a mob, but might not be that great for a boss. So I might need some uh, boss equipment, something that's just like a big damage buff or something. Orbs, I think Aura. Damage? Why not? Yeah, I'm just gonna chill here. I don't think I can quite stand still, but I'm getting close. Attack speed. Uh, let's see, probably movement speed actually. That's the second piece of equipment. Crip mm. bonus. Let's do crit bonus, I guess. There he 
ages. So 16 minutes. Give or take. Damage type to fire. That's interesting. So that means I can start using the fire stuff with any hero. Physical damage, shockwave. Not as good because I'm not using swordsman, I'm using cleric. And I already have a necklace. Two actually. I have the warlock necklace, and I think. I already have that one, yeah. I already have that one. Um, let's do Ring of Fire. Any Johnny Cash enjoyers out there? That, is that... I don't remember. That's... I feel like that's right. 20% damage. The only song I really listen to by Johnny Cash is Full Summer Prison Blues, so. Do I want to send the Ring of Fire to area? Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and send it. Just so I don't forget. gonna chill. I still get a lot of gold from um, from finishing, so I'm gonna try to to finish full 30. I definitely don't need the ring to do that uh, in this level. Let's do area. Fire is Johnny Cash and Grey Balls of Fire is Jerry Lee Lewis. I think that is the confusion in my brain. Uh, let's do Dragon's Breath. taking care of the shields. It looks like the Dragon's Breath is doing better now. So that's cool. It seems to have more range. And that is taking out um, those far away, which is great. So my opinion is changing on it a little bit. I still think Phantom Needles are better. just do so much damage. I'm gonna try to clutch up and not take any more hits. The skulls are hard to dodge. Movement oh, the orbs movement speed. I think I need base movement speed. I need both, but right now I think I need base movement speed.
don't know what the uh, the target, you know, appearing on the enemy's head is. It seems like I'm targeting them like a curse or something. I really don't know what that is. Uh, let's do aura. It's kind of nice the aura never shrank and I'm still be able to build its damage. Admittedly, it's not as strong as the small one, but it's getting there. It almost feels like bait, but then I watched it shred a boss, so I don't know. I think the aura is still pretty good. against mobs because it's just a giant, you know, aura or ring, you know, but for some reason the mobs didn't seem to do as much da it didn't do, seem to do as much damage to them, but it did to the boss. Um, let's see. Yeah, now we're gonna get the orb's movement speed. What is this? Needles. Let's go. Just complain. That's all you gotta do is complain. I seem to be doing a lot more damage. Now, maybe that's placebo, but I kind of feel it, you know? Um, orbs. And I'm basically just killing Tom. Trying to survive. But with this build, it feels less like surviving and more like overcoming. Eh, overcoming is a bad word. More like annihilating. Movement speed. It's not giving me any good uh, needle buffs. Of course, I think range is probably the best needle buff anyway. I think I've gotten some range. take the base crit on the needles so I can actually get something else because that's all it wants to give me oh cool that was gonna take some massive hits there finally attack speed let's go orbs is probably better but I want to buff the needles
just almost this is almost a standstill. Getting close. It's not there yet. More movement speed or more area? I think more area. My movement speed is actually pretty good now. I just don't really have anywhere to go. The, uh, the burn ring, didn't I? Or did I? I'm gonna look at my equipment. Uh, damage. Oh, this, this cheat code. Uh, let's see. What is this? Yeah, so I already sent up the burn, burn ring. That's fine. I think this was probably better to send up, but that's okay. Um, more summons, which doesn't matter because I can't keep it. Yeah, I think more summons. And I'll just have lots of summons for this go around, and I won't be able to keep any of them. But that's all right. Maybe, maybe I'll get some more gold somehow from doing that. I don't know how, but opium. Because that's pretty much the only reason I'm still continuing this run is uh, gold. Uh, attack speed. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try Forgotten Viaduct after this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna win, but I should stand a much better chance. Mm, more needle damage. I will take it. All needles being one one hot, one shot kills is the goal. They might be already. Excuse me. I think orb speed is probably better. Ugh, six minutes, I'm shady. That shouldn't be that hard. Already level 61. Yeah, that's just, that feels great. Except for the stupid pink skulls. It's like, who's doing that? Range on the needles or more aura damage? I think more aura damage. Like, even if I was strong enough to stand still here, it's still a bad idea because of the stupid skulls. Uh, Phantom Needles. Oh, and they're still getting me. I just cannot react fast enough.
just when I think the purple, uh, the skulls are done, there's more. strike I do like not relying on magnets and it um, the pickup range increasing my attack is just cherry which is great on the needles. That sounds good. as cleric but I am interested to see if the uh, I can put the equipment on everybody but I don't really want to test that hmm I guess I'll take the stupid base crit bonus I keep offering it to me Little under two minutes to go. This is almost stand so I'm gonna I'm just gonna see. How are you gonna hit me? I think I got it. Well, <laughs> that's pretty cool. You're on level sixty nine, dude. to go and I think the purple skull guys just joined the party again so that sucks yeah just when I was having fun standing still and to ruin my day by the way. This is ridiculous. Why don't y'all all go away? Whatever. Whatever, dude. I'll take my gold and get out. Cleric, go ahead and buy this ring. 
or um gloves do i want the ring five grand now Whip. oh that is a bad hmm all right bad synergy i actually need the pickup range That kind of sucks, but I known that I would have took the ring. Uh, let's see. 12 grand damage, attack speed. Yes, please. And area. Revive. I'm okay. to defense all right let's try the forgotten viaduct I'm a bit disappointed in um the fact that i had to uh, choose between the gloves but that is okay only the bearer of the sentinel orb could see past the illusions conjured by the lord of despair and so, the artifact was hidden away in the tomb of a nameless hero. To this day, ravens are circling. I didn't realize until I was editing the second video that they actually talked on those. I play on mute. So I hope I let it play out long enough. I also learned my lesson. I'm going this way to start. And attack speed, that is, or eh, pickup range is probably the play, but I need both attack speed and pickup range. And there's the well. Did I already pick up the magnet again? It's not really relevant because this build doesn't really need magnets, but still. Uh, yeah, of these four, let's do region. Let's just go ahead and get the region up. I do not suspect I will make it through this without, you know, struggling, so region could help. Pick up range equals attack. I need a redemption because that was a really, really stupid loss. So, um, let's get a redemption run and just one shot this with a cleric. Not technically a one shot because I tried with the exterminator, but to be fair, I thought I had all the equipment on the exterminator and I didn't. to area pickup range was also consideration but I think area might be better at this point attack speed recording still looks good this is going to be a longer one which is fine because I enjoy playing it just means it's going to be longer before I can play again, which is a pain, but it is what it is. Uh, pick up range. Kind of, kind of wishing I would have bought the ring. I'm gonna go back for that ability scroll. I'm gonna get the stuff over here first. Um, damage or speed? I think attack speed. 
think my damage is pretty good. So attack speed is what I need. I'm gonna circle back around and then grab it. Uh, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. Get over there. Okay. Damage. Grab it. Grab it. Um, aura. No bail. Uh, aura. Tread carefully, my friend. Those scribblings keep the wraiths at bay. While running from those creatures, I've lost the only thing that could get me out of this precarious situation. My potion flask. If you could retrieve it for me, somewhere further northbound, I would be forever in your debt. Okay, so that was the, well, excuse me. That was the uh, potion flask. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I thought that was in um, this level, but I wasn't. Yikes, bruh, I just kind of got hung on him. I'm not gonna blame myself too much for that one, just cause I got hung on him, but uh, that sucked. Was there one for, um... Nah, let's save it for the ring. Embarrassing. Oh, so I don't really have a choice on that magnet. It just like picks up because my pickup speed is so large. Let's try that again, shall we? think area I want my damage to be good but I think I prioritize pickup range too much well, I need something for the boss not the mobs is kind of how I'm thinking because the mobs are kind of dropping range I thought I figured the aura would have done more but it didn't but I think I just got hung. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I just couldn't escape. So I'm gonna try to not let that happen again. I really like these uh, sniper enemies. They're kind of easy to dodge and they will cool. So it's all around win. already doing some work. Uh, let's go attack speed. Damage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the last run was a fluke. I don't think that's going to happen again. Which I admit I am having a bad day. I have not won a single try yet. And we are an hour 24 in. I guess I was due for a struggle session. Last time went really well, so I, this was kind of due. Uh, let's go range. Tread carefully, my. Already listened to him once. Mm, uh, I don't like any of these. 
I guess Dragon's Breath. Uh, pick up range. I don't think mobs are the problem, but... Eh. Go ahead and see if I can get another ability scroll out of him. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do some base health. Burn chance, I guess. Yeah, let's do burn chance. trying to stay and pick up range of a lot of enemies just so the necklace does its job um speaking of Zigzagging my way over to the potion. We'll get there eventually. Kind of hoping to get an ability scroll out of him. I guess more pickup range. Why not? Just never use a magnet ever build. Let's do the avalanche. Yeah, that seemed good last time. I like the fire and ice combo. Here is the potion. And I think I gotta take it back. Let's go area and let's make our way back. Attack speed. That was debatable. I feel like those two were the hardest to choose between is multi strike and attack speed. And I don't really think there's a right answer. That's a all four. All four grades. Base strength. The only reason I didn't even consider region, it was a good option. But the reason I didn't even consider it is because I am like only six minutes in. That is a much more late game option. But uh, assuming I didn't have another good choice, you know, building up the region is not that bad. Uh, I think multi-strike. No, oh, I passed him. Let's ignore that guy and do my this. Hopes were not in vain. Thank you, my dear friend. Uh, please take good care of yourself, so we shall meet again in safety above. Right. 
So we got patient. Uh, we got potions now. Let's go movement speed. Let's see if I can get this ability scroll all the way down here. Yikes. Hmm. And now that that happened again. Uh, attack speed. Decision. Okay. Definitely movement speed. left but this is feeling all right uh, let's go dragon's breath i don't really want to hard focus region because i really shouldn't be getting hit That's a lot of damage. Oh, I can't get out of there. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, that was an attack. I was like, why can't I destroy them? But that was an attack. Got you? Got you. Okay. 1% effect strength on burn. That, that pair, uh, pairs all the ring. Um, let's see. Got a warlock item and then crit chance. I think this one. Because I'm already doing burn damage and then that combined with the ring is kind of cracked. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to um, get that in the well. Uh, do I want to do that yet? Kinda. Yeah. Uh, do I trust myself? Hmm. I have not seen what comes next. And I already like the item combination. So I think I'm going to play it safe and just go ahead and well it. Okay, safe option, but safe option is not always bad. Hmm, let's see, I think more regen. Just go ahead and build up the regen right now. Now that I'm not getting any really good options. But that means I don't have to prioritize it later, which is good. Hmm, let's go attack speed. Now, ideally, I wouldn't have to prioritize region at all, but I think that's unrealistic. Uh, let's go strength. Oh, sweet, an ability scroll. Give me the aura. I don't know, I just... I said it in another... Uh, maybe the last video. It just feels like a jacket. It just feels safe, you know what I mean? Let's go range. I don't think I need more radi or, uh, radius or radius. If that was said damage, I would have taken it. But general range, I, in my opinion, is better at this point. Still recording. Got a crit chance. Now, 
I'll see what this ability scroll is down here. But it's nice that, um, at the very least, have a uh, circlet, I think crown or something. Circlet might just be what you call it. And also the potions. Let's see, attack speed. That was debatable. But I think at this point, the aura is not not really what I'm going for. Sweet. I love this boost. It's like it's a um, Mario Star. That's what it is. Uh, let's go damage. So invincibility and you get faster. Great buff. And then double damage. Go ahead and get your ability scroll if you have one. You do. Needles. Suddenly I'm liking this build. I wonder why. Uh. But I mean, come on. Like, I just got needles and then all of a sudden it's just everything is just going down. It's just, there has to be correlation. of equipment and have a uh, pickup range might have been the play there have a, um, a fire build going on a fire build in which my pickup just absolutely demolish his enemies. So now I'm just kind of chilling. I think I got everything. Cool. So now I'm just waiting for bosses pretty much. Yeah, I kind of thought that last go round was a fluke. He just caught me on a wall. So I'm glad it was confirmed. Now, I'm not saying I can't die in some stupid way on this one, but at least I feel better about it. Mm, so damage. Yeah, this actually feels winnable, which is cool. Maybe force or crit chance. Let's go force. Want some more needle upgrades? Maybe some more orb upgrades. Uh, I guess radius on aura. Or no. Everything range because then needles get better. Unless that is only for base attack. I don't know. Still probably the right decision. Excuse me. Um, magic attack speed.
Yeah, I'm pretty much just farming levels at this point. Let's go. The correct decision is probably base health. And that's because I don't know what's coming. And I think I'm pretty strong at this point, and I don't really know what force does. So I think base health was the correct play there. 16 minutes to go. Mm, let's go damage. This will be an ability scroll. What do I even want from an ability scroll strength, by the way? Um, maybe upgraded orbs, like electrified orbs. That'd be kind of cool. No. Apparently he was a big deal. Let's go, um, Dragon's Breath. Holy Light. So this is the get through this round item. Yeah, let's do that. Fifteen minutes to go. That would allow me to pick a branch. That'll allow me to cut the video a little bit shorter, which is good. Orbs. Yeah, this build feels pretty good. Aura or regen? Probably aura. I think my regen and health is probably fine at this point. What is that? I have no idea. I think it was a buff. I think my aura is probably fine. But yeah, I want the uh, the second set of orbs. That's what I want. Where you have six. Yeah, so next ability scroll, that's what I want. attack speed. I don't really need more regen. I kind of built that up a little bit early. So much damage right now. Let's just see if we can stand still. The more enemies in my pickup range, the stronger I get. <laughs> Looks like I have to dodge the snipers, which is pretty much the only reason I can't stand still right now. But yeah, that feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Of the three, I think the 20% extra region is, is the play. I've already increased the base quite a lot, and so that basically ensures that if I get hit, I am regenerating pretty quickly. Hmm. Small aura, big damage. Or should I say smaller aura? It's still pretty big. 
13 minutes, a little bit under. I think more region is no. So probably burn chance. or crip let's do base crip bonus I guess uh, I don't want to jinx the run but this is looking pretty good especially after the really crappy rounds I've had today. Um, let's go damage on the orbs. I'd be a bit disappointed if this uh, failed, but yeah, I'm just going to stop talking about it and just let it happen. Because I think this is looking pretty good. This is a fun part, like circling with the bats, pretty fun. Uh, movement speed. Ooh, triple, triple shot sniper. Not as difficult to dodge. Um, phantom split or electrify or inner orbit. Yes, please. Six orbs. So I had to like actually make sure it's recording. I shouldn't have like these people. Yeah, I don't even want to say that. I shouldn't have these issues with o um, OBS, but um, I do. So. Sweet, got the star. Ten minutes to go. Enemies are being melted. Mm, it's actually more needles. At this point, though, I think I want um, orb upgrades because I have six of them. stand still but the second I try there's like either a sniper or something that hits me it's like so this game does a good job punishing that strategy but it's it's kind of a fun strategy so it's like I don't know I'm kind of torn on that uh, I guess dragon's breath I feel like I shouldn't rely on crits, and so that's why I kind of avoid crit bonus. 
So it's like, crits are gonna happen, that's fine. But I shouldn't rely on them. Uh, aura. I guess the reason I think like that is Pokemon. It's like, yes, you're gonna get crits every once in a while in Pokemon, but if you're relying on one, you're gonna be hurt. Movement speed and damage. That's just everything I want. Oh, fast orbs. Such fast orbs. Already level 65. I've got eight minutes to go. 66. Uh, damage on the needles. hours I can probably keep my distance with this guy because I have such good range and it looks like keeping distance is the play anyway because uh, like a regular bullet hell game the farther away you get from the uh, projectiles the easier it is to dodge half health yikes Oh, okay. Got it. Ah, hate the skulls. Um, perchance. Let's do... Attack speed on kill. Yeah. That might have actually been a better crown item. I'm kind of regretting uh, Welling, but that's okay. What did I get? Um, I got the burn one. So yeah, I'm gonna try a burn build on the next episode. Unless I die here, which would suck. But um, the next time I play, I'm gonna try the burn because I'm going to try to buy both items. I think I had saved up a little bit of gold. So maybe I'll be able to buy both. My up permanent upgrades are getting kind of expensive. So I think the after I do those two, I'll probably go after um, damage, by the way. Or range damage. Um, I'll probably go after the 12,000 for attack. I think that'll be the next thing I do permanently. Unless I can just, like, scrape up some gold for, like, the low-level stuff. Like, alongside the equipment. We'll see. I don't know how much gold this is gonna give me. I have Rey Mysterio right now, 619. Phantom Split. Sweet, got Phantom Split and Inner Rings. My abilities are pretty cracked right now. Um, let's go... Horse, I guess? I gotta say the, um... The, what do you call it? The Frost? It's doing all right. It's like, I'm not noticing it, but it's doing all right. I definitely don't hate it. I just think um, the needles are better. Dude, electrified orbs. Ooh. Or 
magic damage on needles. I think electrified orbs, because I have six of them. So now this is electric and fire. And ice, just pure on elemental. So close to me. And well, now my camera's blocking the bottom tube off, so I just don't know what to do with the camera. Box me in. Is there even a right side of the screen to box me in? Um, I guess I should upgrade the avalanche. I'm kind of trying to see if I can damage, but it doesn't look like I can. It looks like they'll probably hurt. But it doesn't look like I can damage them, so going right feels like the play. Or I guess upright. So much damage though. Uh, let's do more frost, I guess. Since I feel pretty good about the rest of the build, I'm trying to let it shine. It doesn't seem to be doing that much, but we'll see. We'll give it his fair share. It doesn't seem to do, be doing bad, at least. Like uh, the, the one with stars, or what was the fragments or whatever? That sucked. Dragon's Breath is growing on me. Uh, orbs. Damage for my six electrified orbs. Oh, there's so much XP over here. I'm surprised I haven't grabbed it with my pickup range being, you know, the size of three football fields. but it feels like it. That is... hold. About a kilometer and a half for you Brits. Let's go pick up range. I think that's correct. My, um, there's no way that's correct. So that's like 100 yards to 300 yards. 300 yards is roughly. Let's see. Damage. I'm doing math. I don't want to do math. I'm just going to stop the conversation. Oh, one minute, by the way. Or about to be. Curious. Uh, 300 yards is 900 feet. 
I can actually keep it yards because that's closer to meters. 300 yards to meters is... Probably like 350 or something. So yeah, not even close to a kilometer. It's like a third of a kilometer. Boxing man, but that's okay because I'm 14 seconds to go. Let's just go ahead and do the needles, see if we can survive these last few seconds. Maybe get one more level. Looks like we can, maybe not. I thought that was going to do more. Okay. I don't know what your attack is, but I seem to be shredding you right now, which is cool. Absolutely shredding. Ow. Glad my region is so good. Still feel like I'm doing a lot of damage, which is great. Come on. Dodge, dodge. Sweet. Uh, let's, nah, I'll just leave. Okay, so that is good. Only 4518 on gold. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get these pieces of equipment. And then I'll call it there. So Perfect. So both, please. And then I'm gonna equip them, and I'm officially a fire cleric. And let's see if we can. So yeah, I'm missing um, one ring. And that's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with everything else. So I just need one more ring, and this is a pretty finished um, build, which is good. And I'm going to call it there. So I hope you have a good one. See you later.